What's up, art students? Okay, our next assignment is one of my favorite this time of year, which is the villain, okay? The villain, the bad guy, the bad girl, the bad gal, whatever. We are gonna talk a little bit about this assignment, the villain. We're gonna do a quick dive into um, different villains that we know of, and also, I'm gonna help you be aware of a villain that is actually working to stop you right now. Many of you don't even know it exists, but it has been working against you every day, and now it's time to face that villain. So, grab your sketchbook, let's dive in. So you'll need to open up to your next clean page in your sketchbook. In the center of that page, I want you to put a nice little oval. And inside that oval, I want you to write the villain, okay? The villain, also known as the bad guy or gal, all right? The bad guy, the villain, okay? We are gonna be breaking our page into a top section, and then we're gonna be doing something different in the bottom section. In the top section, we are gonna have three different branches that are gonna be going and exploring three different villains, okay? Uh, I'll start here in the center. I'm gonna take the villain of Captain Hook, okay? The villain of Captain Hook. Now, with each of these villains, I want you to explore a couple different things. First thing, I want you to explore their nemesis. A villain's nemesis is their arch enemy. Typically, if the villain is the bad guy, their nemesis happens to be the good guy. And I believe in the story of Captain Hook's world, Peter Pan happens to be his nemesis. Okay? Uh, also, location of this bad guy happens to be Neverland. Also, I want you to explore what that villain's fear is, okay? Oftentimes, fear is a motivating factor for these villains. Now, Captain Hook happens to be afraid of a lot of different things. Not only is he afraid of the old Peter Pan, but he's also can you guys remember? He's afraid of that, uh, I believe it's a crocodile with the clock that took his, took his little, uh, his hand, okay? So, with these different villains, I want you to add some imagery, okay? Location of Neverland, they sail on this ship, right? And so they sail around on this pirate ship. Nemesis, location, fear, okay? And also, if your villain has some type of power, Okay, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe you guys can help remind me if Captain Hook has some type of power. Uh, you know, I guess he's just kind of the leader of the pirates. But oftentimes villains will have um, some type of power. Okay, now you're welcome to copy that or you're welcome to come up with your own villains. But you're going to create a villain uh, exploration here, a villain exploration here, and also a villain exploration here. Nemesis, location, power, and their fear, okay? All right, I also completed one for the Joker. Uh, nemesis being Batman, location is Gotham City, 
uh, the power, you know, some type of evil prankster. And then his fear was a little bit trickier, but you know, I think he, depending on the Joker movies you've seen, he has this fear of being uh, kind of who he really is, being um, good on the inside. And um, you know, he's afraid of the Batman.